Welcome to the Proficient Starter Pack demo. We understand that businesses have to go the extra mile to provide customers with exceptional service. In an ever-growing digital world, the experience that you deliver to your customers each time they interact with your contact center has long-lasting effects on both their idea of your business and their willingness to work with you. That is why Proficient has created Starter Pack for Twilio Flex, a set of fully extendable, customizable, and modular features that we have identified as being incredibly valuable to our partners and their customers. Each feature tackles a problem that companies face frequently when managing a contact center. These features can be added as a bundle to Twilio Flex or individually. Each of them is versatile and can be customized to fit the needs of any contact center. Our starter pack features an admin UI, which grants supervisors and contact center administrators easy access to configure each of the features you are about to see. We plan to continue to add new and improved features to the starter pack bundle over time, but today we will be demonstrating the initial three features of starter pack, starting with our custom task card plugin, followed by disposition codes and hours of operations. We will now begin the Proficient Starter Pack demo. The screen that you see on the left belongs to an agent working in a busy contact center. The screen on the right belongs to their supervisor. Today has been an especially busy day, and each agent has been handling concurrent tasks all day. Our agent is on a call with a customer, assisting them with their inquiry, but they need to place the customer on a brief hold while they gather more information. The agent begins their research but when they do, they lose track of time, and the call is about to be active for longer than the configured threshold. For demo purposes, this business's threshold is currently configured to 45 seconds, but this value is entirely customizable. As you can see on the right, in our supervisor's team view, this business's custom task card has alerted the supervisor that there is an ongoing interaction that has gone on longer than their configured threshold. This allows the supervisor to remedy the situation before it escalates, and our customer's inquiry is handled efficiently thanks to the timing of our notification. This custom notification, as well as the metrics that are configured to trigger it, can be modified, customized, and configured to fit your business's needs. The screen that you see on the right is our admin disposition code dashboard. On the left, what you see is the Twilio Flex agent console our admin dashboard allows administrators to add, remove, and modify disposition codes which are used by agents at the end of their customer interactions to categorize and record the reasons that your customers are called. Today we are going to add a new disposition category and subcategory to cover a new facet of this business. This business has just revamped their website and they want to keep track of users who encounter issues with logging in and processing payments. So our administrator has gone ahead and added a new category called Website Issues. As you can see, now that a category has been added, the admin can add a subcategory underneath it. Today we are concerned with issues around payment processing and member logins, so this administrator goes ahead and adds both as subcategories. As you can see in our Twilio Flex Agent Console, this agent has just finished with their call and they are currently wrapping up. Agents cannot successfully complete their tasks without entering a disposition code for their calls. Now that this disposition code has been created and customized by the administrator, each time a customer calls in and reports an issue checking out on this business's website, the agent can track that using the new disposition code. Beyond that, they can add a comment along with the selected disposition code to add more context to the data that is stored about the task. All of the data that is captured by our custom disposition codes is tracked and persists so that your company knows exactly what your customers are calling about. The screen that you see belongs to the administrator of a business. What you are currently looking at is the Starter Pack Administrator User Interface. This business has just installed the Hours of Operation feature and the Contact Center Manager is about to configure it for the first time. What you now see is the Hours of Operation interface, and as you can see, there is a preloaded sample configuration to provide the business with an easy place to get started. The first thing for the administrator to do 
is establish their base hours of operations for their contact center. The supervisor sets opening hours to 9 a.m. and closing hours to 5 p.m. Our interface also provides users the ability to set their own time zone and visualize their current selection. Now that base hours are set, the next thing for our supervisor to configure will be holidays. Holidays can be added or removed at will. And as you can see, our holiday interface grants administrators the ability to close on any holiday that they decide to observe with ease. Administrators also have the ability to add custom closures. This business will not be open on this upcoming Friday from 2.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time so the administrator establishes a custom closure for that time. Additionally, an administrator can decide to use a custom override to enforce a different configuration from the regular hours for a given period. Overrides are meant to replace the base configuration for the selected period. In this scenario, for the following week, this business's hours of operations will be reduced by an hour, from 9 to 5 each day to 10 to 5. So our administrator inputs this custom override, and without having to change the regular hours, they have modified their hours of operation for a given period. Another feature of our hours of operation interface is the ability to save multiple configurations and apply them as desired. We have just created one configuration and now we can quickly create a second one. As you can see, our new configuration is based on our current configuration for ease of use. We'll go ahead and set a custom closure for right now and save this configuration. Each of your conf custom configurations are one click away. As you are about to see, our custom closure is set and the administrator can visualize their contact center's current status. So if this configuration is applied to a contact center or queue, it will now be treated as closed for the day. Once hours of operation configurations are complete, they can be used to customize the experience of a customer who calls in during off hours, as well as many other operations in Twilio Flex.